Hello and welcome back to Cloud Force Vibes. So I did it again. I ordered more orchids from Tarzane Group. I just can't help it. Those guys are so awesome. If you haven't already checked them out, please do. They have great, great plants. Nice rarities, oddballs, minis, everything. Um, they don't have a lot of big stuff, so if big stuff's your thing. It might not be the best, but they are the best for a lot of the micros and miniatures that I have and that I've been able to get my hands on within the United States. So. Let's get this thing cracking. Now, it was 91 degrees today here, so I was a little nervous about this, but I do think it's going to be all right. They got to me rather early in the day, so as always, you got your literature. Uh, Tarzane's really good about throwing in coupon codes and discount codes and things like that with just about every purchase you get you almost always get one of these I, I'm sorry correction you always get one of these as a matter of fact every time I've ever gotten anything from them there's some sort of um, a rebate or a coupon or something in there always so got a few plants and something else really cool so we'll go ahead and dig right into this thing one, two, three plants, and a bag of live sphagnum moss. This just so happens to be, oh, let me get rid of this box. <clears throat> so we've got a nice bag of live sphagnum moss here. This is the red stuff, if you've ever seen it. Um, I'll, I'll throw a picture up of some red sphagnum moss, but I'm really excited. We're gonna go ahead and culture this. It looks a lot different than the other moss, and man, is that neat. That's cool. So, we're gonna get this put away in a Tupperware container, just like the other moss we have, and get it set up in a hydroponic setup, and get that growing. So I've got three plants here. That's uh, an example of a really well packaged miniature orchid from Tarzan Group. They do awesome, awesome job packaging. I've never had a plant show up beaten up or in bad shape. So, this right here is a Lepanthes fimbriata. Um, another species of Lepanthes orchid. You know me and my Lepanthes. And let's just get it. I'm really excited to have this plant. Um, it's got a really neat bloom on it. Much larger than I was expecting. That is Lepanthes fimbriata. We've got new growths coming on. We've got buds on, active spikes. I mean, that is awesome. A lot bigger than I was expecting. Look at that. Not all Lepanthes are this big. <laughs> That's neat. Great looking plant. It's going to come out of that pot ASAP. You know me, guys. But. For now, that is just fine. This, I had never even heard of before, and I probably can't pronounce well. This is Arangus Heriotiana, or Heriotiana. And I will throw a picture up of this plant because it kind of blew my, what kind of blew my mind was that this Arangus actually has orange blooms. Um, I'm just really, uh, I guess, unfamiliar with some of the species overall, but I've only ever seen Orangus that have like a white or a yellow or a greeny white flower. I've, I've never seen one with orange blooms, so 
I was very, very excited to add another Orangus and Angracoid to my collection. I just love those plants. Look at that. Wow. Another great plant. Multiple fans. I mean, that is a monster. Yeah, I mean, I have at least one, two, three. A little spider. How about that? Bonus. <laughs> um, four. Wow. I mean, there's, there's at least four active growing fans on that plant. That plant is phenomenal. And again, that is Orangus Heriotiana. So, wow. Two for two. Well, three for three, really. The moss looks awesome, too. And this plant uh, is kind of special. I actually killed one of these plants early on in my, my orchid growing adventure. This was one of my first Mazdevalias. And I, uh, I was really upset because this was the first Mazdevalia I, I actually got to bloom. It's a very warmth tolerant Mazdevalia. Um, I just smothered the roots. Um, it, I didn't know not to keep it sopping wet and um, I rotted the roots out. It got rot from the base and then it's such a small plant that it just went downhill really fast. There was no saving it. I took out three out of my three out of my four Mastavalias that way, and still have the one left before I kind of figured out how to get them to be happy in my environment the way I grow them. So this is Mastavalia Winlandiana, and um, I will actually put a picture of my bloom up. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous plant, and I'm just so excited to have it back in my collection. So it's a miniature Mastavalia, and I think I'm going to grow this in the tank, but I haven't decided yet. This actually might live in the big grow tent. Um, I just don't know. And look at that. Wow. So that is a really nice fuzzy. <laughs> healthy looking plant tons of existing growths tons of new growths coming I mean just absolutely amazing I am so impressed by this <laughs> so I don't see yeah don't see roots but I'm not going to just go ahead and yank it out quite yet I'm going to give that a good watering I mean but that is a nice healthy looking little Mastavalia and again that is Mastavalia winlandiana that is my uh, three plants and my new moss. I'm gonna go ahead and get all this stuff moved in the greenhouse area, and we'll go ahead and circle back and take one more look at it under a little bit better light, and once this is in its container and ready to go. So I've got everything situated, got the plants all watered up with their Cal Mag and their Kelp Max, and got the moss in containers, and yeah, we ended up with three containers of this moss. And guys, I mean, just look at that stuff. Hints of red, green. It is beautiful, beautiful live sphagnum moss. I can't wait to see what this does under the lights and once I can start getting this stuff on mounts. I mean, that is awesome stuff. I'm gonna let it grow for about a month or so. Um, I did the same thing I showed you guys in my how to grow sphagnum moss video. They're in containers with just a little bit of water at the bottom. I put just a touch of Kelp Max in there. Um, my The water, that is, the watered down one. And um, that's it. And then, you know, we've got these three beautiful orchids. I'm not going to remount them or do anything today. I'm tired. It has been a very long week. But I just wanted to show you guys, again, the awesome, awesome plants and awesome stuff that they have from Tarzan Group. So... I'm going to sign off here, I'll get these plants put away, um, I do appreciate you guys tuning in and watching, I really hope you enjoyed, and I hope you guys check out the Tarzan group, because they are absolutely phenomenal. Alright, so, until next time, I hope you're staying safe, thanks for watching, and happy growing. Bye-bye.